Hello everybody, JFM Studios here to give you a brand new series with uh, in this uh, channel right here. Yes, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing back character description videos of my Jeff and Taylor characters. Yes! Yes! Yeah. I know you guys are happy. Yeah! A lot of you guys have been requesting more of these videos and uh, I decided to redo them because throughout the years my characters have changed personalities and right now their personalities are where I want them to be and they're more uh, permanent so right now this is a brand new opportunity to restart this and upload them all in this channel because there's a lot of people subscribed to this channel and I want to introduce all my great characters to you guys even you know especially to the newcomers I, I'm I guarantee that you'll love them. so naturally I'm going with the um, in order of, uh, of the characters uh, importance so we're gonna start with Jeff Jefferson because he is one of the main protagonists in my comic Jeff and Taylor so let's start oh no this isn't good let's talk about Jeff Jefferson during this series Jeff Jeff's parents are in a very long vacation due to a midlife crisis one day his dad is like goodbye kids your mother and I are going on a long vacation to do what we always wanted. Um, traveling the whole country. It's pretty strange and sudden, but Jeff doesn't mind. So it's just him and his two sisters, Cindy and Maria, living at the house. A whole year without parents is practically every teenager's dream, but Jeff really couldn't care less. He's somewhat of a homebody and mostly just stays at home, reading books or playing computer games when he's not hanging out with Taylor. That's right, Taylor Tanner is his best friend and the other protagonist in this comic. Wow. <laughs> Jeff met Taylor when they were in kindergarten. They hated each other at first, all due to a stupid dispute over a crayon. But when they found out more about each other, they became the best of friends. Aww. Plus, they're next door neighbors. What are the chances? Jeff likes school and his teachers, but hates homework. He would procrastinate and usually finishes his homework minutes before it's due. And he'd still get a pretty good grade. All A's and B's. Way to go, dude! While Taylor acts like an optimistic fool, Jeff is the cynical realist who has to bring his friend back to the real world. Jeff is pretty emotionally mature for a 14 year old, and for the most part, uh, there are times where he wants to be more popular at school, uh, f uh, desperately trying to get attention of Bobby Ambler, the most popular kid in his school. <laughs> Both Jeff and Taylor want to be part of Bobby's posse, but other than that, Jeff is a mature kid with little to no uh, insecurities. That is, until he met Jane, a cute girl in his math class who just moved to Somerville. Jeff started developing feelings for her and started to worry how he looks, sounds, and acts when she's near. Because of this crush, Jeff discovered he had more insecurities than he realized. But throughout the series, he'll grow into a better and more confident young man. Please believe me! So what are his likes and dislikes? Well, with likes, he loves to read. You know, this boy, he, he's one of the very few young men who likes to read as a hobby. You know, he likes to read science fiction novels, chapter books, um, mystery, even textbooks. You know, he loves to read and learn. He loves to learn about history and science. You know, he, you know, all the, all, all the trivial stuff when it comes to history, like the minor details on what caused World War I, or, or the historical figures of the Civil War, or the Byzantine Empire. Those things, it really interests, it really interests him. Nerd! Science, he loves science. He loves, he likes to learn about outer space. As a kid, he was obsessed with the planets and all that jazz. He believes in aliens, but he doesn't believe that aliens are wa are walking around in Earth right now. Well, he would be surprised. I want to go to space. And naturally, he loves school. He loves going to school and learning. He respects his teachers and they love him, but he really doesn't like homework. Like I stated before, 
he thinks that homework is uh, pointless and he thinks schoolwork should be done at school and he thinks home is for relaxing, which, you know, it is. I mean, you don't go to, for, as, I mean, for adults after work, they don't keep working when they're in, at home, you know, unless they're an architect and, they work, and they're working on a project, you know, that's terrible. My condolences to you if you uh, if you're one of those workers. Oops. Muffins. He loves chocolate chip muffins. He's very particulate on which brand of chocolate chip muffins. So he asks Cindy to go to a specific store to buy those muffins, and it it, it annoys her. It really does. She's gonna have to start charging him if he keeps asking. And of course, like I stated uh, before, he loves Jane. He has a huge crush on her, and. You know, he wants to be a better person because of her. There's something about her. It's hard to explain. Love is very hard to explain. It is, in the series, it starts as a regular crush, but then it becomes something deeper. When we go deeper in the series, it's, uh, you know, I really want to add some, some, a romantic element to this uh, series, so I, I wanted, you know, Jeff and Jane to be the romantic interest. A romantic uh, couple in this series, so it, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be a super fun um, uh, development. It, it'll have ups and downs, and uh, it's gonna be awesome, guys. It's gonna be awesome, really. It's gonna be so cute. So, what are his dislikes? Well, he hates bees, bullies, snow, camping, and losing. Well, when it comes to bees, I mean. Of course, bees are dangerous. They're dangerous creatures. Of course, he's tolerant with honeybees because they're essential to the planet, but when it comes to wasps and yellow jackets, no, get them away. They are the devil. It's the devil, okay? Exactly. Bullies, he doesn't like bullies because they hurt him and his friends, um, you know, on occasion. I mean, I mean uh, both Jeff and Taylor have been pretty lucky so far when it comes to the bullies, um, but, uh, but they've, but they've seen, uh, some nasty bullies, you know, hurting their friends, so they like to stand up for, uh, you know, they like to stand up to the bullies. They, they lose most of the time, but it's that spirit, man. It's that spirit to protect others. That's what make the, that's what makes these boys so lovable. Snow, he hates the snow because uh, he hates cold and he's been living in Somerville his whole life and it never snows in Somerville. Uh, the one time he experienced the snow uh, was when he um, visited the mountains and it was like negative four degrees uh, Fahrenheit and he was complaining and bawling the whole, the whole time. I ought to make a comic about that. Happened a long time ago, but yeah, should be fun. <clears throat> Camping, he hates nature. I mean, he appreciates nature, but he does, he, he, you know, he doesn't want to be in it. You know, he's a, like I said, he's a homebody. He likes to be in home, and he likes uh, modern technology. He doesn't want to do this uh, man of the wild survivalist stuff. No, he's not like that. Nope, not at all. And he hates losing. Losing is it, it hurts his ego. Jeff does have a bit of an ego, and he hates to lose. He thinks it's embarrassing and he thinks less of himself. So, yeah, there you have it. That is Jeff Jefferson's character description. I hope you like um, uh, this image right before your eyes. Uh, I had lots of fun making it uh, in, the, in the corner right there. He's with Jane right there. They're so cute. We see him and his sisters, uh, Cindy Maria, we see him, oh, in the corner right there. That's him with his, uh, facing off against, um, his evil clone, DJ. Yeah. Read episode 11 of Jeff and Taylor. That is a very awesome episode. Mixed reviews, but I think it's awesome, you know. An evil clone. I mean, a classic, um, um, story right there. With a little twist. I love to add my little twists in these stories. So there you have it, guys. That's Jeff Jefferson's character description video. Tune in next time for Taylor's character description. And it's going to be fun. 
I'm so happy that these are back. And I'm very happy that you guys are here uh, subscribing and, su and supporting my channel. So yeah, that's it for me guys. JFM out, and I wish you a, a, a great day. Alright guys, goodbye. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Jefferson, and I'm Taylor Tanner, and we're here to tell you about our newest comic, Jeff and Taylor Number 1, G-Station HD Remake. It is available now at Amazon.com. The link is in the, whoops, the link is in the description. You can click there and you can buy this awesome book uh, for only $10. $10 for a 60-page comic in full color? That's a deal. It's, it, 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 it is a deal. Oh, you forgot your lines, didn't you? Yes. <sighs> Jeff and Taylor, number one, G-Station HD Remake.